hello and welcome everybody to my tutorial today um, I think I'll talk about if I have a scene in 3d studio max like this uh, arc model uh, that I have long long time ago and um, I want to use this model from 3d studio max exported to Houdini now this model is shaded and uh, already set up as a V-Ray from the shader material render to run as V-Ray now in Houdini we have also V-Ray renderer for Houdini but how we can export from 3D, 3D Studio Max to Houdini yes we can use VP, uh, FPX or VJ then we need to reassign the material on the other hand, uh, V-Ray from, uh, from the company, they have uh, already the V-Ray scene exporter that we can use to move the scene from 3D Studio Max all the way to Houdini. So let's give it a shot. Now, this is the scene. Okay. Quite high dense. But we can see trees house another house lights I don't think the lights will be exported or the cameras with this plugin anyway so I will not take all of the scene because it will be quite heavy I don't know maybe it's like 400 or 350 megabyte so I'll just choose a couple of the things. Let's take these also. And this glass door. And this house. Okay, we'll take it. I'll take this one also. Up. The roof. Okay, let's try to move. See what are we taking so I'm missing one part ok we'll try the light also I'll take this one this one ok you see now ok that's fine for our experiment now I selected my objects I'll do right click then I will go all the way down to the very ray scene exporter now this dialog box will open I can do analyze so it will analyze all the material the geometry the mesh and we'll report there is no error now I I go here to the export path and I choose where I want to export my scene so VRA export scene this is Archie model 21006 and this is the VRA prefix export selected only yes I don't want the whole scene and the tree it will take forever export setting hex strip path no archive no uh, no animation so I'll do just export now it's done if I jump to Houdini now in Houdini I'll take it from the top delete geometry here I will not do uh, file uh, uh, file will not work or I will not go to file and import it will not be in this area then, then what I need to use is V-Ray if you go down oh, one second if you go down in the menu you have the V-Ray the one we want is V-Ray scene I will add it, it will take time to cook I'll just close the uh, max here because it's loading my PC this is 3 d Max uh, 2021 I didn't upgrade don't save 
here it's cooking it will take a while still cooking the process elbow still it's done or oh, already done here I'm searching for the file it is uh, the V-ray uh, this is the V-ray 006 so this is the one not that big 2.3 zoom where is the scene did it take ah I didn't select so it will create the node here in the main menu I need to point to the file so it's 06 accept now it will cook again let's view it now as you can see you know because max uh, the uh, up vector or up axis is the z but in Houdini it is the y so we need to flip it plus if you try to select it's one piece see it's only one piece so it's all packed So here, if I place, okay, it's one point. Let's see if I end back, will it work? But I wanted to try that one, and back. Let's see now. But it's still one point. It's un not back. It's not. Won't work. So let me transform. And the way I will transform it. The representation. Let's try to rotate something like this 90 degree. Control G. Quite big. Very big. So let me scale it down. Here it is. Acceptable. See. Because here in the scene, the view view port preview placeholder bounding box preview see, see the preview see quite ugly anyway placeholder now I'll just place a grid for render and merge them together I can hold both of the node pressing alt and drag it will merge automatically this will be the output here in the top she shelf we have the V-ray shelf that we can access it from shelf all the way to V-ray we can access it here let me place a light I'll place a light dome light sun let's try the light sun because it's an exterior it's cooking now Okay, now I'll just make my grid a little bit bigger. I cannot see it. It's very tiny. So maybe I can go down with this one, 0.15. Let's go down here. Yeah, let me make this one bigger to cover all the area. And move it back anyway so um, how can we how can we make the texture the texture of V-ray show up in the viewport here but it's not showing even I'm selecting this one but it's not showing I will uh, check it I don't I need to because I read about it but nobody give me good answer that I can 
work it out. So anyway, so let's make a camera by pressing control. We have a camera, we have, we have a camera, we have the sun, everything. The render, nothing here. Material, no material, nothing. So let's see what will happen. But if I go here, okay, let's give it a render IBR. It will cook now. We should start to see either black or we see something. Yeah, yeah we are seeing something here. So if I pump up the Vire Sun, Vire Intensity, so you see a render out of the mesh and it's stripped off, no texture, nothing. Okay, stop. Now close. If I want the same, I want to fracture it, uh, simulate it modify it so I need to go back to 3d studio max do the changes and come back here and reload again reload the scene again but there is another way that we can do okay so let me view it again ctrl G if you look at the last tab of the VRA scene import import material import the material but this is not the one we need to do we want to unpack to polygon so this will automate the process of unpacking assigning material meshing it and I just ignore this error okay close L repeat the step again this should give me ah oh, here is the material that's what I'm saying but there should be a script also okay let me let me run it again I'm just deleting back oh. let's say reload Unload. and back to polygon actually it's not giving me this call back error strange I will find out but let's see now control G show me the camera and let's kick a render computing the geometry intensity to its default control and middle mouse the wheel when we press it will go back to its default but it's not cooking the material usually it will cook the material for us see and it, uh, there will be a script here like the same let's stop this one the importer the import number five number five is this one after I import I do unpack to polygon maybe when I export it yeah, there was this very small size but 
this one I worked with before so it should be okay let's have a look yeah see that's what I'm talking about it, this is the node we have for let me close this one it will unpack let me go okay. now it's unpacked it will clean up remove the group, delete empty group do its thing now this is the one talking about assigning the material assigning material back after material and out let's take this one and connect it here we go to the camera see we move we were working while it was in a lock mode let's see now let's try with it's backed and it's not backed let's fire the IBR All your texture are uploaded. I go down with the intensity. Yeah, so this is the texture that came with that model. Let me try when it's unpacked and see the difference. We are here. So just catch this one. Fire again. When it's unpack, my son, I want to go here, stop, maybe remove this one, control G, and go to the transform, control G. So, I think I'm talking about is this one, see, you can select, and if you press 9, you can select by group, by 3D connectivity, see. by UV by name attribute when you add one but maybe this class see and if you look here all the group all the points let's take a view from here the camera look at Move the nine. I don't want it. Let's fire the IPR again and see. While it's running, of course, in the material, I'll just show you. It's already assigned, and this is the material, the pump, the reflection. You can control it and the texture, you know, but everything will be automatically added on. one for this one very cool thank you very much and uh, please don't forget to support the unit the channel the unit <laughs> have a nice day thank you bye